The directorial override is right there, in the control room. How do we get there? down that way. Oh, this place makes me nauseous. An object of power. How do you think it got down here? Carousel horse. Why is kid stuff always so creepy?
keep up with me now. Well done. You got the job. It's place for congratulations. Yippee, satana. It happened in the last drop. I truly need an assistant. Funny thing is, I've been a janitor. I'm more at home in that role than as the director. Only Ati here seems to see that. Yeah, hi, Ati. Look, we need to get the lockdown lifted, otherwise I can't get to the other sectors. Can you help me get to the override? Yes, yes. Easy peasy. It's just around the corner. But first, we need to get you working. Very small couple of hours job. Something tells me it's going to be more than that. Ah, 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 you think there's a dog buried in this? I can tell you are not the yesterday's Krause's son. That's why you make a great assistant. Very well. I'll hit the facts on the table. I'm not going to swear that this house has a vermin problem. A bad one. They've already messed up the cooling pumps. And the uh, power generators of a uh, power plant, Berkele. And the pensioner inside is starting to feel the band around his head tighten. The situation needs to be fixed before the plant blows up. And we all disappear like a fart in Sahara, Berkele. Trying my best to keep up with this. Fix the coolant pumps and the power generators, otherwise the power plant will blow. But don't you worry. I've left you clear instructions. You'll catch the end of the thread before I go to my vacation. The work's on the task board here. You can do later, when you have time. Vacation? Right. Yes. No one's gonna cancel my holiday or seeds gonna rattle. But don't worry at all. You'll take care of it, and soon this crisis gonna be last winter snow. You better go now, so you don't have to run with your head as your third leg. The door in the back leads to the plant. The door in the back. That's great. Thank you, Ati. Yep. Burn the dress. Throw it in the fire. Burn it all. Okay, so what happens again if that thing blows up? Power. Explosion. Too much. Director's duty. Keep the lights on.
Go talk with Chief Arish in the security booth. He's in charge here. Ma'am! Hey! Chief Arish, FBC security. Shouldn't you be in a safe room? They all have HRAs. We're on the same side. My name is Jesse Faden. I'm here to perform the directorial override to get the lockdown lifted. Yeah, yeah. Chief Arish, FBC security. I'm just... Oh, hang on. You're the new director. <laughs> um, it's a pleasure, ma'am. Let's skip the formalities, please. Right. Faden, ma'am. Look, as you can probably tell, uh, it's a bit of a shit show down here. We've been holding our ground, but whatever's gotten into our buddies has them wrecking the coolant pumps and the power converters. The NSC keeps overheating, and my crews keep getting shot before they have a chance to make any repairs. NSC? Oh, sorry. <laughs> Bureau jargon. It's what we call the power plant. You know, the uh, big rumbling metal thing? <laughs> uh, Salvador, head of security, asked me to protect it in case of an attack. See, what's inside is dangerous. The Dr. Darling seemed to know it would be a target. Darling? He's here? No, he came down a few days ago, before everything went to hell. He was out of it. He smelled like a bar mat. He was ranting about vulnerabilities and how he only had one large-scale HRA, but that he needed it somewhere else. Still, at least he gave us these personal HRAs before he left. I hate to mention that he was tearing his clothes off. <laughs> Crazy dude. Darling knew the hiss was coming. Listen, I love playing 20 questions as much as the next guy, but we have got to get the water and electrical systems repaired before this baby blows. I'll have my guys unlock the doors out of here for you. I'll take care of it. You stay and keep the hiss away from the plant if you can. The hiss? That's what we're calling him? Well, that's catchy. Oh, listen, the radios aren't working, so if you find my boss Salvador out there, could you please ask him what the plan is? I'm sure he will have one by now. I'll keep an eye out for him. He sure has a lot of faith in his boss. Try to stay alive. Pressure's climbing so fast, I'm amazed the NSC is still holding. When it blows, we're all going with it. Oh, thanks, Frank. the fire.
is gonna come down. My old enemy, the clock, is blocking the pipes. You He is very clever. He is trying to sneak in. He caught him caught with his hand in the fist. What the hell is that? Oh, that's the most disgusting thing I've ever seen.
need to hurry.
it's fried up. You need to fix it before the old thing is inside the guy as a shit fit. That's it. The other sector should be open now. I think it's time I told Emily why I'm here. I'll risk it. You two should get to know each other.
has asked us to document the his incantation, as she calls it. You mean my universe? Jesse, you made it. And you lifted the internal lockdown. Let's talk, Emily. Yes, of course. Listen, Emily. <sighs> Screw it. Just tell her. I haven't been completely honest. I have a younger brother, Dylan. When we were kids, we found an old slide projector in Ordinary's landfill. The slides created doorways to other places. Bad things happened. Came through. That's all she gets. The rest stays locked inside. But we found help. Through one of the doorways, we met something. A being. A being? What kind of being? It's hard to describe, but it... She helped us. We managed to turn the projector off. The bad things that came through the doorways were gone. After that, your people came, tried to grab us. I ran away. They got Dylan. I left him behind. Bureau agents took your brother? Yes. He covered it up. No one believed me. I just want to find Dylan. I've been looking for him ever since. What happened to the slide projector? It sounds like another object of power. I thought you took it. The Bureau. Along with Dylan. I've never heard of it. But around here, I assume everything's classified. You know, I looked into the ordinary AWE case files after you mentioned it. Trench and Darling were both involved. A large area of the containment sector was reserved for it. The case hasn't been active for a long time. I have no idea if anything's still there. Can you tell me more about this being you found? Let's hope you two get along. She's been with me ever since ordinary. In my head. She led me to you. I call her... Polaris. As in, a guiding star. Did Polaris know about the Hiss? If she got you in here, in spite of the lockdown, she's very powerful. Which may help explain your test results. Your readings are incredible, Jesse. Now, cross-referencing them with the database, I found two matches in Darling's old classified files. Unfortunately, I can't access them beyond the file codes. One was P6, referring to a prime candidate for a potential future bureau director. Uh, this was logged years ago. Dylan. Is that Dylan? The other match is on something called Hedron, which must be connected to these Hedron resonance amplifiers somehow. All I know is that Marshall went to the research sector to secure the HRA production after the his first attacked. So... Marshall seems like our best lead on Dylan. I need to go after her. How can I get to the research sector? Use my key card. The sector elevator will take you there. Marshall is the next step. What Emily told me about ordinary, my powers being connected to things in the Bureau's past. I am so close to something. Do you feel it? Something's coming. We take turns to come for a visit. I helped you. You owe me now. And when time comes, I will come calling.
They say the new director can launch objects up to 20 feet. Bullshit. We've never recorded any distance over five. Obviously, you never read the piece. 